So here we are on the private estate. This house is so pretty. It's like something out of a film. Look how cool it is. It's so beautiful. So it's about eight o'clock in the evening. You can probably hear the birds in the background. Super <laughs> excited. Shush. Super excited to uh, explore these grounds and this amazing, amazing house. And yeah, I'm gonna eat my white rabbit pizza now because I am starving and show you around a bit more. So this is the really cute little living room. It's got a little armchair and a sofa. And then where we're staying is this room here, which has got this amazing view out onto the estate and onto the grounds, which is just absolutely stunning. And then coming back down the stairs, we're going into the kitchen, still not unpacked my bags. And obviously the kitchen is just really lovely and homely. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cook that pizza. unpack all of my food of course so this is when I feel fully at home in an Airbnb once I've unpacked all my food and made a cup of tea which is just mandatory the first thing you have to do when you get anywhere I think they can like sense the veganism so they know that they can trust us. So pretty. That sky. Eat the pizza with the cows. I'm gonna enjoy this pizza now and say goodnight to these beautiful cows. Hello cows! And yeah, go to bed and get ready for tomorrow. Good morning. So I managed to make these amazing granola bowls for breakfast because I bought all the stuff with me. So this is my homemade granola with some coconut yogurt and it's got bananas, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, cacao nibs, raisins, like it's just absolutely amazing. So before I started the day, I made this wonderful breakfast for the two of us and then we enjoyed that with a lovely view of the, of the cows, which were actually nowhere to be seen this morning. And then it was time to go exploring on day one. Okay, we are off out for the day. We're off to Stow on the Wold, Borton in the water, and Burford as well, which is meant to be, Borton on the water is meant to be the Venice of the Cotswolds. So I'll show you that as we go around. Bye, lovely house. Our first stop of the day was to Stow on the Wold. This is a beautiful little village and we stopped here for a quick coffee, but we didn't stay too long because it was very, very busy, but it had a really cute little market, but I didn't film it because I didn't take my camera out with me, but it was well worth a little visit. 
Then we were off to Borton in the water and you can see straight away why it is called the Venice of the Cotswolds. It's lined with these amazing waterways and it's just super, super beautiful. With the trees overhanging and the birds singing, it's just a really beautiful village to visit. So today we went to Borton in the water, or is it Burton in the water? I don't know. If you know, tell me below. <laughs> so we went to Borton in the water and this is meant to be the Venice of the Cotswolds. So it was really, really stunning. There was like bridges and like waterways, but it was absolutely packed. It felt like the world and his dog <laughs> was in Borton in the water. Oh, I'm out of breath. I've been running around packing. So it was super, super busy, but it was absolutely beautiful. So you can see we just walked along by the river and looked at all the lovely shops and all the buildings and some of these houses. Wow. They're just like, fairy tale cottages it looks like snow white could just walk right outside at any point i mean look at this one it's just absolutely stunning so we wandered along and we enjoyed just sitting by the river and we sat on one of the many benches that were there when we were lucky enough to get one <laughs> and then we found this amazing food place called the den which is just on the corner in Borton on the water so if you're heading there it's got some great vegan options it's got like vegan bagels vegan salad stuff like that so check it out i had the coronation chickpea salad so we were lucky enough to have our picnic blanket in the car so we ran back to the car got the picnic blanket and sat outside and enjoyed a lovely lunch by the river Found a shady spot under the tree. Okay, enjoy the salad. How the sun's come out. Look at this amazing salad box. Once we'd enjoyed all of Borton on the water and had a good look around, we then went down to the Slaughters, which sounds absolutely horrible. <laughs> and they are literally one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. So it's Upper Slaughter and Lower Slaughter. Just like walking along the waterways, these houses are absolutely stunning. They just, just again, like they just look like a fairy tale character is gonna just walk right out into there, like followed by birds and singing. They were just absolutely stunning. So I'd highly recommend checking out the Slaughters, horrible name, beautiful place, if you are in this area because they were absolutely stunning. They also had this old mill as well, which you could see in Lower Slaughter. And this is meant to be home to the most romantic street in the world or something according to google maps or something like that um which is how i heard about it but yeah and i think this might have been this actual street that i'm walking down <laughs> but it is beautiful so do check it out if you can Slaughters, it was time to go back home to this beautiful place. I mean, look at this. Isn't it like a fairy tale pulling up at this house? So then it was back home and we went back out for dinner later this evening to a beautiful place called the Fleece. And then that was it for day one. The first thing we wanted to do today on day two was explore the grounds of the house because we didn't have a chance to do that yesterday. So the house is obviously set in this private estate and you have access to walk on a public footpath which runs just behind the house and it runs through these beautiful woods and into this open field and it was just absolutely gorgeous. Just to get out, there was absolutely nobody around. It felt like we literally had the place to ourselves. Then it was time to head back and eat another epic breakfast before we went out to explore on day two. Mm. 
morning everyone so this is our second day here in this beautiful amazing house and we are just packing up all my bags are here in <laughs> in the hallway so we are just packing up to leave so just thought i'd give you one final whiz around this beautiful place look at these windows look how cool they are they're amazing and yeah we're now packing up and we're going off to Sudley castle this morning which has got like lovely gardens and lovely grounds and things like that so we're off to Sudley Castle this morning and we've been on a lovely woodland walk earlier this morning as well so yeah we've had the best time here it's just like this place is just in a beautiful amazing location just been absolutely stunning and yeah we've loved every second of it so um let's see what today holds Right, I'm gonna run and pack the car up and then we're gonna say bye to this beautiful house. Bye house. Time to say goodbye house. Bye. Bye house. Okay, let's go. Peacocks. So we spent most of the day navigating around the epic grounds of this castle and again it felt like we had the whole place to ourselves it was actually really quiet and of course the first thing I did was gravitate towards this epic tree I mean there really was some absolutely incredible trees on this grounds and they had all these amazing gardens that were all like what's the word topiary <laughs> Is that the word? <laughs> when all the bushes are cut really fancily. So we explored around there. We went inside as well and looked at the history. But I'm not very good at reading museum history signs. I just kind of look at the pictures and, and wander around. But it was really, really pretty. And it was definitely worth a visit. If you're interested in going, this was the morning. This was the first slot they had available. And obviously we had to book the tickets. So um, yeah, maybe go for the morning slot because it might be a bit quieter. After sitting in the castle gardens for ages and just soaking up the sun and listening to the sound of the bees, we then went to the Fleece Inn again, which is the same place we went on day one, which is a very special place in my family because we've always been there ever since I was a child. And so we went there for a late lunch before we traveled home. And the Fleece is this beautiful building. It's this super old place, which is owned by the National Trust now because they're trying to preserve it. And it's absolutely stunning. And it's also got this amazing garden in the background. Maybe it's not that amazing, but to me, it's really amazing because yeah, it's a special place to me and my family. So it was really lovely to visit there, not once, but twice during our stay in the Cotswolds. And then it was time to wave goodbye to the Cotswolds and travel home. No regrets and window. 